Welcome back, folks, to Scripting for Linguists. In this episode, I have this question for us, which is, how much faster has Mojo's dictionary gotten? The reason I ask this is because in the current release of Mojo language that came out very recently before I recorded this video, they say significant performance improvements when inserted into a dictionary. Performance on this metric is still not where we'd like it to be, but it is much improved. The natural follow-up question I have is how much improvement are we talking here? In a previous video, link to above and below, I pitted Mojo version 070 against Python. And the reason I did that is because that was the first version of Mojo that had a native dictionary type. And I was curious to know if Mojo would be quicker than Python when populating a dictionary with many words. And, and so I'm going to use that same script, <coughs> excuse me, in order to look at Mojo, the current version, which is 24.4, against the previous version, which was 24.3, version 24.4 and versus version 24.3. And so let's take a look at my, my Mojo script. Here it is. This is very much like um, the script I used in the previous video. We have a little helper function that takes in a pathway as a string literal, returns a list of strings, that is words. And then here we have the function that gets the frequencies of those words, takes in that list of words that was created by the previous function, returns out a dictionary, and it's simply creating an empty dictionary and populating it with an if-else approach there on lines 15 through 19. Good, and then here's my main. Pass in um, a pathway to a big TXT file that has 230 million words. I have removed punctuation, so there's only characters that make up words in the English language. That is alphanumeric as well as the hyphen and the apostrophe. Apostrophe, whether vertical or slanted. Good. And then I write out the times of 10 trials to a CSV file that I can put into R and to plot up the results in a couple minutes here. And I'm going to try 10 trials. I'm going to have it do it 10 times and keep the time of each of those trials to see how uh, fast it is. Good. And I have already done that before the video started, as you may have guessed. Let me show you the results of that. So here is, again, this is the previous version of Mojo. That is version 24.3. I'm getting times of 183 seconds. That is right over three minutes, three minutes and three seconds. 181 seconds there, 183 again. 182, 183, um, 182 again. So right, right around 182, 183 there is what we're getting. Again, that was version, Mojo version 24.3. You can see the bottom part of my screen. Let me zoom in a bit there. That was uh, the previous version of Mojo. And then I updated Mojo to 24.4, right? Which is the current release at the time of recording this video. And I reran the script. I had to do a few little changes. I had to um, use the str function to change some uh, numbers into strings to write them out to the CSV file. But I have version 24.4, the current release at the time of recording this video. And this is the exact same script, exact same input file. I'm seeing times of 45 seconds. OK, that's a lot quicker, 47 seconds. Now we're talking 48 seconds, 46, 46 again, et cetera with my 10 trials. So, wow, that is almost a four times speed up from 183 down to 46, give or take. That's almost four times quicker. Nice work, Mojo people, Chris and the whole team at Modular. That's awesome. Now the next question, next follow-up question I have is, okay, how does this compare to Python? Python's current release at time of recording this video is uh, version 3.12.3. And so I translated my Mojo script into Python following the exact same logic. Here's that little helper function in Python, like the same one we had in Mojo. Here is the uh, function to get the frequencies, same, same basic idea. Create an empty dictionary, and then loop over the words, and then just populate the dictionary with an if-else approach, like I did in, Mod in uh, Mojo, using the exact same file. This file, it has 130 million words. Good, and write it out to a CSV file. Same idea, just timing that one little piece of the script here just to get the frequencies into a dictionary. Good, right out to the CSV file. Good, so let's go take a look at our um, results in R, our old friend R. Here they are. 
in a box plot format. So on the left hand side we have, let me just make it a little bit bigger. Left hand side we have Mojo version 24.3 and maybe a box plot is not the best visualization because they're so tight together. There's very, very little variability. Um, but anyway, here's, here are the results of the 10 trials in the previous version of Mojo. Again, the, the mean, I guess I can show you the mean. Uh, the mean is back here. Um, let me zoom out a tab bit on that. Yeah, here's the mean and median on the top left of my screen. Let me zoom back in actually. We're seeing uh, 183 seconds, 182.6 uh, mean and median in the previous version of Mojo, that is 24.3. The current version of, of, at the time recording this video, uh, version 24.4 has times of 46 seconds. Yeah, almost a four times speed up. If we do that simple math, we can see that if we take the uh, median of the previous version of Mojo divided by the median time of the current version of Mojo, we get a speed up of almost four times, four X factor speed up. Very nice work, Mojo people, modular people. Um, and like I mentioned, um, I also used Python and we're seeing those results right there. We're seeing a mean of 34.7 and a median of 34.5. And if we plot that up, this is what we see here. We see that, yeah, there's a big speed up, a four times speed up from the previous version of Mojo to the current version of Mojo when inserting a lot of words into a dictionary in Mojo. And we're seeing on the far right, the far right, I need to make move this over so you can see it better. There we go. The far right box here, at the bottom right of um, this plot, this is Python version 3.12.3, and it's still a little bit faster than the current version of Mojo. Okay, but wow, that's a big improvement that Mojo um, has made with inserting with the performance of inserting items into the dictionary. Very nice work. So let's jump back to our question. How much faster has Mojo's dictionary gotten? It has gotten four times faster from the previous version to the current release of Mojo. So very nice work. Very good job, uh, modular team. So there you have it. Mo uh, Mojo's getting quicker with uh, insertion of items into the dictionary. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to. See you later.